Hello, you're watching Base Shade Highlight, a simple guide to painting miniatures. In this video, I'm going to paint Captain Marvel from Marvel United. I've already primed her black with a white Xenothal highlight from overhead, so let's get right to it. I'll start by giving her a base coat of red. This red is thinned down enough to allow the shadows from priming to show through. For that reason, I won't need to do a shade color for it, but I will highlight parts later on. Also, I normally start with the innermost layer of a model and paint my way outwards, but because this red is translucent, I don't want to accidentally get any paint where it will be hard to cover up. The red paint should help remind me. Moving on, I'll paint the blue parts of her outfit. I want to take a minute to thank everyone who has left comments or feedback on my videos and survey. Your encouragement and support is much appreciated. I'm not really happy with that color blue, so I decide to remix it with a blue-green paint. I'll quickly go over all the areas that I've just painted. Mixing in skeleton bone creates a highlight color. And then I add some more skeleton bone to push that highlight even further. Next, I'll paint the trim and hair yellow. I start with a nice deep ochre. I find it's easiest to build up yellow paints from darkest to lightest, so this will be the shade color. Anytime I slip outside the line, I'll come back and clean that up later all at once. For now, we keep moving forward. The last part of the model to need paint is her skin. 
so let's take care of it. I apply some pink for her lips, but it looks worse than when my two-year-old got a hold of some lipstick. A touch-up of Barbarian Flesh quickly fixes that. And then I highlight the cheeks and nose. This yellow will be the mid-tone for both the hair and trim. I use ice yellow to highlight the hair along this ridge and pulling strands upward. Moon Dust is a different pale yellow than I use to highlight the hair. This is to help distinguish the two from one another.
A little paint has gotten onto her teeth and eyes, so it's a good idea to touch those up now. Here, I'm giving the base my standard coat of Necromancer Cloak. I mix my own orange using colors already on the palette and begin to highlight the tops and edges. I'm not doing anything too crazy with this, just a little bit of simple highlighting. A wash with Strong Tone will help the ground look like concrete and add depth. Lastly, I dry brush a light gray on the base before picking out a few of the individual rocks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the website in the description down below for a list of all the paints I use and recommend. Here she is complete. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I forgot to give the eyes and teeth an outline until after my recording gear was put away, but I used the same process as my other videos. A simple black wash into the creases and then ivory to touch up the middle. Thanks for watching.